Hello, and welcome to Japanese craft beer reviews. Today I'm going to take a look at a beer that is a rather special one, and it's uh, I'm dedicating it to a rather special person. Uh, uh, late in the week I learned that a friend had passed away, and this was a, a, a man I've known for a number of years. Uh, and living, he was living in Kyoto, Japan, and uh, uh, he passed away apparently uh, late last week. I don't know the details, but uh, a lot of friends are very sad about it, and myself included. And so this is for you, Justin. Uh, today's beer is from a Kyoto brewery, and it is Kyoto Brewing Company. And the beer is kind of a special one, I think. Uh, it's uh, called Kyoto Brewing Kodama. Uh, and the English translation, it's uh, the Japanese reads uh, Kodo o Yuku. And they translate it as Pilgrim's Respite. And uh, in other words, the idea of a, uh, a traveler going along the old road and taking a break. And it's a Saison. Uh, first, just a little bit about Kyoto Brewing. And Kyoto Brewing started in 2015 in Kyoto, Japan, and it was started by uh, three foreign residents of the city, an American, Canadian, and a Welshman, and they uh, won a number of awards uh, right away. They were uh, rated the best new brewery in Japan by Red Beer that year, and a few years later they were uh, selected as the best brewery in Japan, and uh, so they have been quite successful. And uh, they put out uh, almost maybe 280 beers or so in the last seven years. A uh, wide variety of beers. They tend to focus earlier, uh, earlier in their career on uh, Belgian-American kind of fusion styles, but now they do all kinds of things. And uh, this beer we're going to look at today, Kodo Yuku, is a barrel-aged saison. And it's the first in their Kodama series, their barrel age series of saisons. Uh, the uh, original beer came out in uh, 2000, 2021, early 2021, and I, I had it at that point. It's a 7 percenter, 24 international bittering units. Uh, and it was barrel aged for 12 months, and I've been holding on to it uh, uh, since uh, early 2000. Uh, 22. So I'm guessing this is about a year and a half old or so. Um, <clears throat> and so aged barrel aged in 12 months and then had uh, bread added to it for the final aging and fermentation. And uh, uh, rate beer, no ratings at all. And on untapped there were 24 when I just checked. Uh, and the average is 3.95 out of 5 for Saison style. The malt bill is, consists of Pilsner malt, Vienna, and wheat. The hops are Aramis, Styrian, Goldings, Bobek, and the yeast is Saison yeast, and this one has added Brett yeast to it, and the other ingredient is white sugar. So, uh, a barrel-aged Saison from Kyoto Brewing. Let's give it a go. I'm not sure how this is going to pop open, but we will find out. I've got some tissue at the ready, just in case. Okay, well, that did boom a little bit. Uh, it is gradually starting to creep up the neck. You can see the carbonation rising there. Okay, let's pour around a little bit. Okay, so it is a nice almost clear just a little bit of haze in it uh, carbonation pretty substantial a very light gold straw with a nice thin maybe half an inch of white foam you can smell it from here you can smell the brett right away <sighs> this isn't that uh, really old horse blankety kind of brett but kind of fresh Lightly pungent, maybe a bit citrusy, just right, I think. And yeah, so what else am I getting? Some citrus, 
tiny bit of floral element perhaps. Yeah, it smells great. Okay. And the flavors are kind of nice, sort of crisp, crunchy sort of uh, grassiness. Light stone fruit, maybe peaches, definitely apples. Uh, mm. And the bread is kind of light on the tongue as well. In the nose, it's quite apparent. Mm. Mm. Okay, this is rich. Uh, great fruit flavors. Uh, light hopping from mid palate on. Uh, gentle on the tongue. Lightly warming at 7%. Mmm, and yeah, this is a a treat, a real treat. And as I said, this is for for you, uh, Justin, and rest in peace, sir. Well, once again, Kyoto Brewing has done a great job. I kind of wish I had had a a few more of these tucked away. I've been keeping this in the fridge for the whole time. Uh, that I've had it, uh, and it came in a special set, special subscription set, and uh, yeah, mm, wonderful beer. Once again, it's called Kyoto Brewing Kodama, or P Pilgrim's Respite in the Kodama series, barrel age, 7%, 24 IBUs, yeah. So Kyoto Brew deserves your attention. Please do uh, check them out. You can see their website. If you live in Japan, you can order from them. Uh, they often have some specials. Uh, uh, that you can order from as well and uh, give them a look. That's it for today. Hope you're doing well. Take care. Bye-bye.